Hello. Hi, everyone. The camera looks different somehow. Hey, never mind that. Am I coming through okay? Are you ready for some footballs? We're going to be managing some kind of team, hopefully. I don't know who this guy is. Is this us? This might be us for this scenario. Look at all of the boards. Here's my team. Here's the stadium and stuff. It's a pretty fancy stadium, isn't it? For a third division team. Hey, Matt. Good morning. Or afternoon, if you're where I am. Hi, Michael. You can see and hear me? Brilliant. Hi, Maris, as well. I hope you're ready for some football. Go sports! Yes. So this is one of Portal Games' new uh, arrivals. This is their new Essen game. It was crowdfunded about a year or so ago. I know that from looking at the threads and stuff to try and get a couple of clarifications on things, there's a lot of discussion about uh, the way the match resolution stuff used to work. I've got no idea about any of that. This is the first version I have seen and played. We had a quick demo uh, of a fairly final version, I think, at the UK Games Expo a few months ago. And this is the final copy, which, like, we need to do a Be Right Back uh, at the end and uh, go grab the other boxes. So I've, I've got the expansion boxes as well. I haven't put any of that in there. So this is purely what you would get if you just got the base game. It's 11, the football manager game. Hey, say the title of the game at some point. So you will take the helm of a football team. You'll get a draft of directors that will give you some bonuses, give you some abilities maybe, influence the decisions. They will make decisions in uh, your board meetings uh, and you can get more staff, you can get advertising to get some money, you can hire new players, you can train up youngsters that are a bit rubbish and all the same at the start, but then later on they will transform into superstars, no doubt. Uh, you play against each other, but you don't necessarily, at least in the base game, you don't play matches against each other. So you see I've got this deck on here uh, that's made up of the teams I am going to play against in the six-week period that make up uh, the game that you play. There are loads of these for a variety of divisions. Three divisions, in fact, which are levels of difficulty that you are playing against. So you will kind of, you'll, you'll see what happens uh, when we have the, the match resolution. But yeah, we're going to play against these teams. The other side of these cards tells us how these teams are going to strategize. Uh, the side that's on here tells us a, a little bit of flavor, a little bit of uh, guidance, maybe. Uh, and there's multiple cards for each team, so you don't just get used to, oh, we're playing against them. Well, this is how to beat them. Uh, so yeah, you play against these AI teams, but we are all in a league together. So you are trying to score points in this league and come out on top. It's one of the many ways that you can score points in the overall game. There is one of the expansions includes like tournaments, like international tournaments. And in that expansion, teams can, players can play against each other, like uh, team on team stuff. But yeah, generally you are competing in the game in its standard mode uh, with you know a common display of staff to hire, uh, sponsors to get, players to grab, uh, and you're competing in the league itself as well. But that's the the kind of thing that you are fighting over. Yeah, we're not we're not rubbish. Uh, we, we, well, this is what we are here for. We are here for guidance. So the, the solo game is largely the same as the multiplayer game. What I am going to be doing turn to turn is the same. But since you aren't playing against anybody, well, you're still, you're still playing against all the AI cards. Kind of, the system kind of lends itself to solo play. Uh, but if my buttons work correctly, fingers crossed. Nope. <laughs> if um, there is, the game comes with, I believe it's six scenarios for the solo mode that will give you certain, it'll give you a bit of story. It'll give you some setup changes, some ways you can score more points, special rules maybe, and things you need to do to consider this scenario a win. There is also in the rule book, a table of scores that tells you, you know, how well you did, but there are some bare minimums you need to do to consider uh, a win in the solo mode. So for the first scenario, it's surviving the third division. The new BFC was recently promoted to the Professional Football League for the first time in its history, and the people of the small town of Newby are all up over the moon. Now, a few months later, nobody believes these newcomers will survive the third division for even one season, but the club knows that avoiding relegation is important to their survival, so they hired you. You can only play this in the third division, so you, you get to choose usually at the start of games what division everyone's going to play in, uh, but this one 
obviously, is surviving the third division. So the story, at least, doesn't reckon much of our chances. It's like, we maybe shouldn't get ideas of winning this league, but you, know, you can get points in other ways as well. So in setup, we've removed all of the player cards with strength higher than one. So we've only got kind of basic players that um, yeah aren't really strength-wise anyway any better than these nameless tokens that I've got on the pitch right now. The advantage they might have though is that uh, we could put them in a different position, they might be attacking rather than defending, and players themselves, as you can see here, uh, our starting veteran Kaminsky, uh, they have special abilities on them. Sometimes you have to spend things to activate them, sometimes they are just passive things. Uh, but yeah, e even if you're not improving the strength, you're probably improving your team in some way, hiring players. So we've only got the strength ones in there. And at the start of the game, you would usually get a veteran and a youngster to start with. In this scenario, we only start off with a veteran. Now, why have you got that youngster there then? Because another thing that happens in setup, is this going to take me to the right place? There it is. Uh, roughly, it's a bit higher up than it was. Let me adjust that. Uh, so this is my board over here. My board of directors. Uh, you have a draft in the multiplayer game where you pick out a hand of four, you'll pass it along. The next player picks one of the three you pass. You know how drafts work. Uh, so in the solo game, you just draw four cards, pick one, discard the rest, draw three, pick one, discard the rest, draw two, pick one, discard the other one. And that's how you end up with your directors here. So I said they're going to give us special abilities or special things to start off with. So the whole point I was talking about this is that Veronica Adams, our director here, who thinks that fans are the true way to a prosperous club, uh, let us draw three youngster cards. You can look at their trained side, which you're not allowed to do normally before you hire them, and then you can hire one for free and discard the others. So this is... I'm, I'm going to get into the game, don't worry, at some point very soon. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing with youngsters is, they're all the same on this side, apart from you know, the, the position they play in might be different, whether they're attacking or defending could be a bit different. But the big difference is, once you train them up, they've got a name, they've got a personality, they've got different stats, they've got abilities, they can score you points. So we knew that hiring them, like what they're going to be like. We've also got um, some staff. We've got our first trainer that everybody gets. Uh, they've got different abilities, but yeah, we, we got dealt one at the start of the game. Extra staff member from another one of the directors. Let's just get into it, though. I, sh I should mention as well, before we get into it, uh, that amongst the many expansions... I think there's, there's five little expansion boxes that all add their own flavours and all of them add you know, more cards to add to whatever you're playing. One of the expansion boxes is completely solo specific and it, uh, it includes an ongoing campaign. So like one of, obviously, an influence on the game will be the various football managing games that have been around. But since time immemorial. And uh, yeah, the, the thing in those is that you can take a struggling team and take them to the topmost of the popmost if you're good at it. Uh, so that's what the solo campaign box would do. Like these are individual scenarios that you can play and you, you will have different setups. You will have uh, their own different things shaking them up. Not every uh, scenario is going to restrict you to which division you need to play on, for example, so you can make them harder. Uh, and the six in the box, but as well, there is a solo specific expansion that has an ongoing thing going through it. Hey, Heidi Jester, I'm glad you could catch a live one. Uh, oh yeah, that's first maybe worth mentioning. Uh, how much do I like or watch football? I dislike football quite a lot. Uh, I really, really don't like it in any way. And that's maybe enhanced by, it's kind of a thing, especially in England. Football's the thing, right? Who do you support? No one is a... probably less so now. No one is a strange answer. But uh, yeah, so I, I think from the demo, I'll, I'll preface it as well, the demo of playing the game at the UK Games Expo, I really enjoyed it, despite that. But I think that's like true of a load of board games that I'm not necessarily excited about the theme. I think the, the thing about it being a football management kind of game, there is a part of me like... There was a brief window where I liked football, where I was like, I don't know, 20 years ago or something. Uh, and even when I didn't like football, I did play a lot of Championship Manager. It's in the description. Championship Manager 2000, 2001. That's how long ago we're talking. So that kind of management thing appeals as well. But um, 
as well as that, like say Preta Porte, another from Portal Games, which originally at least struggled because of its theme. It's uh, you're you're in a fashion company. You are designing dresses and going to fashion shows and things. Like the theme, it was a turnoff to some people at least when it first came out. Uh, and yeah, I just thought, well, that's a completely different theme. I'm excited by that. Like, I, have I got any interest in fashion shows and making dresses and stuff? Not really in any way, but hey, as a game, it was fantastic. But also, like pret porte although the systems and the way the game works is very differently, different, it's another kind of... You are definitely managing a football team. The theme is that, and you are doing that in the game, and you need to do that well. But there is also a bit of, you know, engine building and, you know, financial stuff. It's not just about winning the games and getting to the top of the league, although that will massively help. There are lots of other ways you can be scoring these points, and the way the scenario is will, like, influence that a bit as well. But yeah, there's uh, there's some lovely euro -y goodness, I think, whether you're into your footballs or not. So, let's, uh, let's go. So, on Monday... We play through six weeks of the game. On Monday, everyone will have a board meeting. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we basically get an action each. Uh, there's, there's basic actions, there's extra actions that staff members and other things will give you. And then at the weekend, we will play a match. That's going to go six times, basically when this deck of opponents runs out, that's it. Uh, the way that the opponents are structured as well, Oh, you're not going to take... Oh, that button just completely doesn't work anymore. Uh, you can see on my... I've, I've got a button somewhere that takes me to a lovely bit of my match. Why isn't this working? Why are you turned off? There we go. This is the screen that should take me to the match. Uh, yeah, you can see the first three here are Division 3 cards. There are kind of easier opponents. The bottom three cards are from the Division 3 Stroke 2 deck, so they are more difficult. And we've got a little scout report. You can see at the end of week one, we are going to be playing against Brickton Football Club. The team has been playing unsuccessfully in this league for three years. This year won't be any different. Watch out for their right wing. They'll probably focus on blocking more than attempting to score. So that's the information that we've got. But we'll um, hopefully put that to good use later on. So, on Monday. Whoa. First of all, we gain resources based on the positions of these stat trackers here. And they are defined by, everyone starts on two, but certain things that you have, you know, whether it's sponsors, staff members, and at the beginning of the game, mostly directors, will adjust how much you earn at the start of every round. And they'll be spent in different ways. So fans, I've got quite a lot of fans. I get four every round. All the resources are represented by just these colored discs. That's the same color. I only get two euros. Uh, that's my like my stadium, my, my infrastructure of the, the company. I get three of those. And then strength, which is used to get your players on the pitch and to activate abilities that want strength. Uh, I get two of that. So, a, a decent start, I think. And we can always boost it up and change things around. So, you get your resources for the week. And then we have a board meeting. We need to draw a board meeting card. Let me grab one. Uh, it was a good place to have it. We'll have it over here. So, the board meeting is about staff raises. Our staff is demanding a raise. Should we give it to them? Now... This, as a manager, is not your decision. It goes to the... Where's my... Oh, here's my D6. Uh, it goes to the board of directors. We need to roll this die, but it's not just as simple as... You know, there's a, there's a result on the card that's... Oh, you roll a two, this thing happens. We roll a die, and then look at our directors. I've rolled a four. So we look at which each director, which way they would vote. So Anna, in this case, they all vote the same. Anna, Veronica, and Caroline all vote for blue. Now, at this point, you don't have to go with their decision. You can pay a fan 
and re-roll the die. And I think I have an ability, yeah, Caroline's ability is that I can spend one to add or subtract one from the die results instead of re-rolling. So I can have a bit more control if I like. Uh, so our staff is demanding a raise, should we give it to them? So the way the board want to vote, unless I want to shake things up a bit, uh, they want to vote, no, we need it for incoming players. When you perform paid staff actions this week, you have to pay a euro to do them. Oh no, I have to pay a money. So if we did, no, we need to invest in things that make our club grow, you may not perform paid staff actions at all this week. Oh dear. Well, I think this is the best result then. So that's unfortunate. Staff actions this week are going to cost me money and I don't have a lot of money. Well, we'll just have to, we'll have to earn some money then some way, won't we? Okay, so that's the board meeting. When I perform staff actions, I've got to pay a dollar, a money to use it, a Marty buck. And I have got a couple of actions right here in front of me that I can use. So that, that's Monday for a start. We'll now talk about the actions on the action days. So these staff actions, I only get to do them once a week. They're tapped once they're used. And sometimes I can just do them. Sometimes they cost a strength to be able to use them. You see that's got the strength icon there. I would have to spend that token to activate the action. So I can do those and you can also do these basic actions, which are hire a player or a youngster. When you're taking cards from these displays, only the rightmost three are available to you. The others you can see as a kind of sneak preview of who's coming up. But yeah, only the, the rightmost three are available. So you can hire a player, you can sell a player that you already have, or a youngster. Uh, you can hire staff, you can contract a sponsor, and they can be used in different ways. You can build stadium infrastructure. Uh, these empty spaces on here can be uh, filled up with things, more stands to hold fans, which will earn us more money and might affect other things. Uh, more ad boards, so we could take more sponsors on, and different improvements to the stadium that would give us bonuses throughout the game like merch stands and things like that uh, and you can build in your office which is right in the corner of this stadium screen here basically pay money to earn points at the end of the game uh, i think that's all of the things yeah card actions all of that good stuff we can do an additional action as well uh yeah you don't have to particularly enjoy the thing that's true of loads of, like i don't really as a as a topic i couldn't really care less about trading in the mediterranean but as a as a theme for board games this room's full of it there are three ladies in charge i think they're going to turn things around here caroline roberts i definitely wanted to end up with as soon as i saw there was a director that's like maybe if, if she cares about dogs as much as football or perhaps more than football i think we'll get on i was going for like a, a fan kind of theme although the objective that i've got here it's one of the ways that we can score points have at least nine stadium infrastructure it'd be quite difficult we need a lot of stuff in the stadium to do that we need to rebuild the stadium if we want our club to grow them i'm going to put a load of things in it which is you know spend a lot of money to put things in there. How many AIs do you run at once? Like to play against in the solo mode, you mean? Like you don't you don't need to do anything extra in the solo mode. Like the only, you're not necessarily controlling an AI. I'll try and get to the match quickly uh, so you can see how it works, but it is it is mainly comparing numbers. You'll, you'll see like, and, the, and their numbers are different depending on their cards, but um, yeah. For the basic. The basic action on my card I can just do, right? Yeah, it'd be one of the things that I did that day. But I can pay. What's my player aid messing up now? I can do an extra action in a day by paying two green. Paying two of these is how you get to do extra actions. Okay, so I want to take on new things. I'm probably going to need a sponsor, to be honest. If all of these actions are going to cost 
a dollar extra. I want more players, so I've got more chance of winning the match. But I need to rebuild the stadium. Like, at least nine times. Over these six weeks, though, so you get 18 actions over the course of the week. Maybe more if you pay for some extra card actions. Nine or 11, I suppose, isn't that much. Like, I'd get two points if I've upgraded it nine times. I've had at least nine strip infrastructure. So it's already got four. So I've only got to upgrade it five times. That's not too bad. And I've got a lot of fans. I probably want to upgrade the stands. So each upgrade in the stadium costs $3. We need money, don't we? Let's have a look at... Are you going to take me to the proper place? We got there eventually. Uh, so this is our display here. If I want to take on a sponsor, remember only the rightmost three cards matter. This is just stuff that's coming up in the future. There are three different things that you can do with sponsors. You can put them on your team's shirt on your strip they go up here and you can see like you've got you've got them on your strip now this can move over a little bit look they're on your shirt and slot in all nicely there uh, and this gives you a particular bonus yeah that was the right one wasn't it so if we were to take on the people's news as a sponsor if we were to put them on our shirt we'd get two dollars now and we'd get to improve our income by one. Uh, if we put them on our ad boards, we would get a particular bonus. In this one, they don't want to be on the ad boards. Uh, or we could just do an advert for them over the tannoy or something, I suppose, and get $5 now and then it's just gone. There's an additional ability though that you can get when you're taking on a sponsor. Where it's, it's on the text here. So you can decide which one you're getting. So if we discard, we just get this. If we put them on the ad board, we choose which one we want. Or if we put them on the shirts, we get both. Now, let's see, budget shrinks over here. The bonus, adjust all of your stats up to at least three. That's kind of nice, but you know, that would put my money up by one and my strength up by one for the future rounds. It's cool to do in week one, I guess. And if I put them on my shirts, I'd also get $3 for it. Easy Loan have got a really nice bonus. If you don't have any sponsor cards attached to your stadium board, I don't. Gain two income and $5. I'm just going to default to dollars. Uh, otherwise, gain one income in three dollars. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? And then people's news would be reveal the top card from the board meeting deck, either discard it or put it back on top to resolve next Monday. I think easy loan. We could just get the five dollars and then it's gone. So first action, what we do on Tuesday is sign a deal with easy loan. You see it tucks under the ad board over here. My microphone's in the way. You can see we've got an ad here with Easy Loan. Easy Loan gets you money easily. Many of the fans are in debt with this company, but it's a quick investment for your club. I thought it was going to be a slogan, but no, it's a description. Oh dear, that's not made us very good, has it? Morally, but I have gained two income. And five money, which I can now spend to do things. Do the resources roll over? I don't think so. I should have my end of week set up, shouldn't I? You want to exhaust all of your... Oh, you can keep maximum of one of each and then discard the rest. Okay, so I've got money now. Let me see some new stuff. I would like more strength. Now, there are all these fitness trainers up here. If I was to hire a fitness trainer, I could increase my strength income by one if you have another fitness trainer additionally gain a strength. There's another fitness trainer coming up in the future. There are points for collecting sets. 
the sets that they're from, you can see this, uh, this color here, and it's the type. So fitness trainer is the set that they're from. Uh, so there's points for collecting from the same set. But I do have a bit of an extra thing. The button's not taking me there. I want to have staff from at least four different sets. And I get four points for that. So that wouldn't be a terrible thing, would it? I also want to train three youngsters. So that might be something to do. I also, though, want to use my first trainer. Now, I've got three green here. I could use her ability without spending an action. It's kind of your extra cost to do this. I think I might do that. So I need to pay this to do an extra action, basically. Get a strength there to train one of your players and place a strength, a temporary strength on their player card. I forget what this youngster is, but let's uh, let's see, shall we? So train one of your players. They they turn over basically. So my youngster from being this generic one strength player turns over and he's now oh dear, <laughs> he's now uh, zero strength, but with an ability. Okay, this is why I picked him. So he goes from just that's him there. So he's got no number. He's just a youngster. He's been trained, so he's one of the three that we need to train for the extra points. So he is number 11. We can grab his shirt. And Svensson, super sub. His ability, before the match, for each fan on the stands, place a temporary strength on this card. That is going to make him pretty unbeatable, actually. So Tina's training ability put one on him. He's obviously going to lose these at the end of the week. but So he hasn't got any strength himself, but it gets boosted by... The support of his fans. Okay. So that isn't my second action yet, is it? That was just a free thing. We're going to be able to put at least a couple of fans in stands. It would be nice if we built another stand, wouldn't it? But really, a cost when we come to match day is a strength for every player card that you want to use. Otherwise, they're just generic one strength players. So if I want to use my veteran Kamin Kaminsky and my, he's not a youngster anymore, he's a trained player, isn't he? Svensson, then I'm going to need another strength from somewhere. And the only way to really get that strength is to hire the fitness trainer to increase my strength income by one. And then she's got an action, but I, I haven't got enough green now to do another free action. So I'm not going to have all those. She is going, though. The, the furthest card of each selection is going. So maybe I still want to hire her. I suppose I could hire her and then hire the fitness trainer as my third action. And then that's that. Staff are filling up. But my strength income would be really high. And then I get to use both players and have a better chance of doing stuff. Do you think that sounds cool? Or we increase the number of stands, so there's more fans in there, so that Svensson is unbeatable. And just get one fitness trainer for later, and then I, I just can't play both of the players. So once you've got the strength income, then you can get... You can think about getting more players later. We need to hang on to money as well. Because, oh, I haven't paid him money, have I, to activate that ability? Because that's my extra cost for the board meeting. We're going to get charged some money for all this stuff that we've got. Like, at the moment, it's based on the number of things that you've got. So, the number of players that you have. I'm actually only two there. I've got two players. I've got four stadium things. It's just what you start with. And I have got two staff down here. So if I was to upgrade my stadium, my expenses would go from one in the green to two in the yellow, which isn't massive, but that's, that's stuff I haven't got, isn't it? You can keep as much money as you want, though. So I was just thinking, like, that's fine if I've got to spend it all. No, you can keep all the money that you want. I can use Jose's ability to hire a player for a euro less, but there's no point doing that, really, is there, if... 
I haven't got the strength to pull him out. I'm tempted by getting both the fitness trainers. I think that's going to help me later on. That will cost me two four, though. I will earn some money from the match. I just might not have a great amount of money next week. I think that's okay. So we had our action and off reaction on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to hire Judy Lubeck. And here's where space starts becoming an issue. So she costs two. And her bonus increase strength by one. If you have another fitness trainer, gain a strength. So I could actually not hire him and just use her ability on Thursday to get two strength. And I would be able to keep the extra one for next time. Because I don't really need to double up the way I want to have the staff members. And you know, Kalela over here, the architect, for two euros, hiring her means that I can build any stadium infrastructure for free instead of costing three. And then in the future, I can use her action to build it for the normal price, which doesn't seem that great. But you know, remember, we can spend two of these green to have an extra card action. We would like to boost that, if anything, really. Hey, Jose. Yeah, you're our scout. Yeah, we don't need another ad. There's no point getting a player if you haven't got the strength. But the architect is great. And But if we hire the architect, the fitness trainer is getting discarded next time. If we hire the architect, though, that is three different sets of staff. And maybe four, actually, because I think first trainer is the same category as tactical analyst. It's the same yellow. They've got the same points values at the bottom. So I think she is a set. Yeah, I'm going to spend, I think, let's let's build things up in the first week. I'm going to hire Mader over here. Oh, you can just about see him if I put them underneath the stadium here. So that's going to be my Thursday action. Just a, lo a lot of hiring staff, which is okay, actually. Four staff's fine. That's still the same expenses. So same ability. Increase your strength by one. If you have another fitness trainer, I do gain a strength. Can't use their actions or anything because I haven't got enough green to activate them. So I think that's all of the actions that we can do. It's time for match day and hoping that I get all of this right. So first of all, we've, we can read our scout report. I've read it already. Yes, we're against Brickton Football Club. We're all bottom of the league right now. We haven't played a game. Uh, it's been playing unsuccessfully in this league for three years. This year won't be any different. Watch out for their right wing. They'll probably focus on blocking more than attempting to score. Okay, here is where football terminology might trip me up straight away. Does that mean they're right? So I have to watch out on the left. What do you reckon? Because he's going to be my star attacker. Here you've got, to, you've got to play a formation. My basic formation card I started with means I can use 4-4-2 or 4-2-4. Uh, this is basically like 4, four in defence, 2 in the midfield, 4 forwards if you're doing 4-2-4. And it's going to make a difference when we resolve the matches you'll see in a minute. You work out which players you want to be in the match and assign... strength to them. If they had extra abilities that needed strength, you need to pay more stuff. Yes, they're right. Scouting should all be from your perspective. We'll find out, won't we? I might just put Svensson in the middle and then we won't have to worry about it and we'll know for the future. Right, so I've done you. I've done, I've done all of that. Assign fans to the stands. You can put a fan in each stand. So I am going to lose a fan. So that's a bit of a shame. Maybe should have built that stand instead of hiring another person. We knew the risks. Any before the match effects? Yes. For each fan on stands, place a temporary strength on this card. 
Svensson has become a, a three-strength striker, and I think I'm going to pop him in the middle. So if they're playing 4-3-3, three, three, they're going to have four at the back, three in the middle, three in the front. So I'm a better playing 4-4-2. Four, four, to cram people into this middle section and not bother as much. Like, can I just cram them all in the middle? Because if you've got to have them on the wings, what difference does 424 and 442 make? Because the wings are like a section. You see when we like evaluate all of this stuff. I don't know if we can just cram four into like one bit. We'll just leave it here. We'll just have it like this. We're playing those players. They've got all of their extra strength. We do all of this stuff. You can play another tactic card now because other tactic cards that you get later on will have special abilities on them. You can, you can play those at this point. Any players that aren't taking part in the match that have got suspension, you know, these red or yellow cards or injuries on them, they lose one of them. So they get closer to being able to join the match. And then we resolve the match. So let's have a look. This is all set in stone now. And we can have a look at Brixton. Yeah, so it, it is there right. Yeah, Maris correct. So. We evaluate these zones. There are five zones out here. The wings are a zone each. That's two. And then we have three zones in the middle. You know, the defence, the midfield, and, and my defence zone, I guess. So we compare numbers out here. We look at the this wing. So you can see they're, they're facing the other way. So it's as if they're, you know, you know how it works, don't you? You get it. So we're just looking at players that are in this section of the pitch. And we compare attacking and defending. If you've got a player card assigned to a particular number, you use their strength value. If it's just a printed t-shirt and that's it, it's got one strength. And they're doing two different things, attacking or defending. So first of all, we look at my attacker, number nine over here. It's just a basic one. It's got one strength. We then look at, is there someone on the wing that can defend against an attack of one? To defend against an attack of one, you've got to have a defense of at least one. You can see that they've got three defenders and they would stop a shot of two. Each one could. We'll see in a minute though, if I had had a single three out here, like if I'd kept Svensson out here, his goal would have gotten through because they can't defend a three. They, they could defend three instances though of up to two up to two up to one so my attack doesn't get through there my defense i've got a defense of one they aren't attacking so nothing happens there at all on this wing they are i suppose i could have like i could have moved stuff over to the wing instead couldn't i on this wing they are attacking for one but i've got a defense of one back here you do have to, in setup, you've got five attack, five defense. The lowest numbers go defensive. So I defend against their attack. I've got an attack, though. And there's no defense on their side. Unfortunately for me, they've brought a goalkeeper with them. So this goalkeeper will stop a shot of up to two. So he will stop that puny one. This glove here means that this goalkeeper has got one use, basically. That's all he will block now. So that's that zone taken care of. My attacking. So we've got Svensson over here, who has got one, two, three attack. No defender can block a strength three attack, even if the goalkeeper had a use yet left. They can't block that. The goal gets through. We're on the board, 1-0. Number seven over here, he's got strength one, blocked, completely blocked. There's, a, there's two defenders here that can stop him, no problem. Out in the midfield, oh, this is gonna be a bit of a problem for me. We've got 
my attack, which is one, there is no defence at all from them in the midfield. So I score again. Brilliant. 2 0. Unfortunately, though, they've got an attack of two, an attack of one. I've only got a defence of one. So I can defend against that attack. This one scores. It's 2 1. And finally, in my defence area, this is just going to be a draw. So we've got. No, no, I'm going to score another one, aren't I? So we've got my generic defense of one. Can block that attack of one. That's fine. I can't stop this three getting in. That's uh, that's just going to be score 2-2. Two, two. But luckily here, my beautiful veteran, Kaminsky over here, has got strength too. They've got no defensive abilities here. So we knock the third one in. And I believe that's the match. We compare the pairs of sections. Obviously, like, I'm describing it in perhaps excruciating detail, uh, but yeah, just so you, you see that like you, you treat these as chunks. So like the left wing, the right wing, depending on where you stand, and then each of these three sections in the middle is how you evaluate it. Uh, so we've resolved the match, check the results of the match, any after the match abilities, you know, I had a before the match one, Kaminsky over here has got an ability that says, if you lost, you can flip this player card to flip any other player card. So could help train someone, could use his experience to train somebody else. We didn't lose though. So we check those. We move team markers on the league table. Okay. The league table. A win, as you might know, is three points on the league table. We won our first match. I mean, it was not expected. The card did prepare us. The, the card might as well have said Brickton are rubbish, <laughs> apart from on their right wing. Uh, and so Brickton gets zero points. We then, I'm a little bit unclear on this, we roll dice to decide the fate of the teams we didn't play. I'm a bit unsure. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm a bit unsure if we roll a die for every single team or we just roll for the colour. For green, that's going to be easy. There's only one team that didn't play. Obviously, in a, in a multiplayer game, more teams would have played. They lost their game. I'm just going to roll individually and you can tell me if I'm wrong later. Uh, let's see. The Greytown Bulls scored. They they won their match. Dafton United. Great. Whoever came up with that, that's my favourite team name in this. It's great. Uh, they won their match as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit random because, like, they're not necessarily playing against a thing. If, if we were just supposed to roll a die for all those teams, they all won their match. So, that's a bit frightening. Okay. Red teams... So we've got a lot to contend with here. Just knock my things completely apart. Uh, so SFC won. Everyone can't win. Blackston Kings won. Maybe there's more people in the league. They won. What? Weighted dice. What's going on here? Okay, so our win has kept us in it. We are, we're not bottom or second to bottom. That's where, that's who gets relegated. So that's fine. That's okay. Right. So we've done all of those. We can discard fans from the stands. I believe we just get one, right? Yeah, you get one for each discarded fan. So they were in the stands. They bought their expensive burgers and such and earned us a bit of money. Then after the match, you've got to make a match consequence roll. So over here, we get our beautiful die. The consequences can be different based on whether you won, drew, or lost. I won, but players could still get injured. Okay, and we got three. Phew. Uh, so three, I believe that means that somebody can't play next time. Oh, they've got a temporary weakness. Place that indicated number of X's. So like the strength, this is just going to be temporary. Now, Svensson, if we build more stands... That could keep Svensson in it. But Kaminsky, he just becomes a generic player if we put a temporary weakness on him. We, we might be able to put more strength on him later. Yeah, I'm going to put the temporary weakness on uh, our star Svensson. So we've done our match consequence roll. We can spend fans at this point to re-roll that. So I could... Now training isn't going to matter. I can't train anyone, really. I could get a temporary strength 
and I could get a fan permanently. I suppose like there's not as much chance of that happening. It could be worse. It could be injuries. I've got two fans to spend. We're going to get four more later. I'm going to do it. I'm going to re-roll. Let's see what we can get. Spend a fan. One. That's both of them get double injured. So they can't be in matches. This is this is this is a terrible idea. Don't let me do this. Five. Okay. Train someone. Uh, so train a player who is assigned to a match. I think the only person who we can train is Kaminsky. And he gets worse if we train him, though. I think it's because his ability would let us train someone else. I don't know if we can just not do that. Uh, but uh, there we go. Oh, thanks, Matt. Oh, you're on vacation. Have a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, we've done all of our stuff. I've rolled the dice. We unexhaust the cards. All of this stuff was spent to activate them at some point. Uh, make sure your score markers are back to nil-nil. And we can see our next opponents are going to be Downtown United. According to the press, this team is a contender for relegation. They don't use dangerous forwards and defenders. We must defeat them. Okay. It's good to have your attack in, in the forward and the defence position. Then. Uh, then maintenance. So we are in green for each of the tracks. We've got to pay one, two, three dollars. Then discard the rightmost cards from the transfer area. It's not even that, like the tables as much of a problem anymore. I've realised that one of the main things in my way is the microphone. It's like here. I can't lean forward. Maybe we sort that out at some point. Right. So we've refreshed them. Oh, the other thing that we can do in solo, we can get rid of an entire line of cards. I think, and not just because I've already done it to the other lines, I'm going to do players. So we're probably going to be cycling through these players because... Oh, we won the match anyway, but I'm forgetting my goalkeeper. My goalkeeper would have blocked a strength one shot. Everyone's got a built-in just one strength one, um, one use goalkeeper. But I won the match anyway, so it doesn't matter. The scores aren't recorded. Okay, yeah, that's all of the cards already. Because this particular scenario set up has removed most of the player cards from the deck. We've only got strength one players. After the match, if you played with a sold out stadium, put a permanent strength on this player card. <gasps> Ooh, we got to get him. Okay, we will play with a sold out stadium. Does sold out mean that it's just, it? it's full with the stands that we've got or we've got to build all the stands and fill the whole thing up. I'm not sure about that. I don't think there's like, there's not like an individual card effect bit. No, so I'm not too sure about that. Maybe it would have to be that I built all of the stands, I don't know. Okay, so we've done that bit. We've refreshed all of the tracks. Check your position. Keep a maximum of one of each resource. We've got a green and a yellow. That's it. Discard all the reminders. And then pass the stage markers to the next player because they would be first player. This this is like a reminder of being the first player. Uh, okay. So we're back on Monday. We're back in the boardroom. Oh, you have to train. That's a shame. He didn't even get to use his ability. Yeah, I don't like that bit so much. He's barely done anything. And now he's gone for the game. Right. So you might as well, like... The right saying, there's, there's no point paying the strength to have him on anymore, is there? Because he doesn't do anything. You might as well just take him off. 
I'll, I'll, or not pay the strength for him at least. Uh, so gain your stuff in production. I get four money this time. And four fans. And three green cogs. And four strength. I'm going to hire at least a player, I think. If we're playing with a sold-out stadium. That, that seems to me, sold-out stadium feels rules-wise like it wants me to have paid for these stands and filled them. I mean, the... Yeah, the, the get around it, get rich quick way wants me to just say, no, I'll just fill these stands. But I think it wants a fully stocked stadium. I guess I'll yeah. Because you get two euros more than uh, his strength there. Oh, Svensson as well. Svensson scored. So newbies, the youngsters, can have up to two icons here. One icon is just a whistle. So play them in a match and they're worth a point. Score a goal, though, and they're also worth points. Svensson here has only got the one of them, so even if I sve svel Svensson, then I still get that point. Right. It is an action to sell him, though, so I don't know if I'll get rid of him that quickly. Although I'm not that great for money, am I? If, if you want to be building bits of stadiums, you need more money than this. Yeah, I haven't got the actions to get a sold-out stadium just yet, have I? As, as cool as he is as a player. he probably have to wait. I could get a goalkeeper that's still strength one, but... He'd have two uses instead of the one that my built-in goalkeeper's got. Ribeiro over here would get me an increase to my strength stat, like my strength income. The others I can't have just yet. So I don't know if players are going to be... The most important thing, just because they're all strength one at the moment, which is the intention of the the scenario. So discard money for points. To basically get the bonus and the immediate money. Reveal the top card from the board meeting deck. Oh yeah, we saw that. Staff members, we've got stewards right here. Increase your fans by one if you have another steward additionally gain a fan for now. So maybe we should start building up the stadium. I don't know if we should get the player right now, because only the rightmost card's going to get discarded. We could maybe hire him next week, once work on the stadium has increased. And when work on the stadium has taken place, Svensson gets stronger. We might lose this match. Okay, yeah. So we've, we haven't had our board meeting yet, though. Don't decide too much. That's just your income that you've had. The board meeting is going to be are going to take me down here. Cooperation with rivals. Our rivals want us to start a youth team. Together our youth players. It could save us money. Should we do it? Let's have a look. I do need a dice tray. I need space for a dice tray. I've got lovely dice trays. But I try and cram everything in together so we can see it all. Okay, so Caroline votes. Not now. Our youth team is doing great. But Veronica and Anna are overruling her. Yes, it saves us a lot of money. Increase the opponent's score marker by one. They start the match with a goal. Flip a youngster to its train side. Oh. Well, I don't want that then. I'm going to spend a fan to add or subtract one from the die results. Usually you'd get to do that to reroll. To change someone's mind to not now. Because choose a trainer and exhaust their card. Well, what about this fitness what about this fitness trainer over here? We don't need both their abilities to gain a strength. I don't think we need either of their abilities right now. That's fine. I don't wanna I can't flip a youngster to its train side, and we would have the opponent starting with a goal, so I don't want that. And place a suspension, a red card on each of our youngsters. Is he a youngster now he's trained? I don't know. Either way, I don't want him suspended. So, yeah, we'll go for not now, exhaust that trainer. Okay. Tuesday. I do want that player, but I think he can wait. We can afford to 
boost the stadium once so we could buy i think we've got three fans left why don't we build some new stands so now we can put three fans in there earn three money at the end of the rounds we can oh yeah we probably do want to sell him as well so we don't boost the maintenance by having him and we can train other people once we get... We could hire youngsters, though. There could be anything. That's a defender that goes up front. Why don't we hire a youngster and see how they turn out later? We could train them. We've got the stuff to be able to train them, haven't we? Let's do that. Hire a youngster for one. So this is action number two. They're going up front. This is where our scenario sheet's going to have to get out of the way. Yeah, let's have some defence in this middle bit here. So the youngsters don't have a number. Just replace them with someone. So that cost us one. It's a defensive side one. Yeah, we don't get to... I think after you hide him, you're allowed to look. We'll let it be a surprise. We could, we could train him, couldn't we? Yeah, we can spend two green. And a strength to activate. So we're spending the two green so this doesn't take up a, a whole turn. Because we're still on Wednesday here. Let's train him up. Let's see who we've got. Hey, Frederick. No problem. I hope you're enjoying it. Hey, Algernon, how's it going? Yeah, it should be coming really soon. This is my first playthrough. It arrived, like, two days ago? Everything is very crammed together, as you can imagine. S and time. So Lewis is hot-tempered. Oh, his strength's gone up. That's that's cool. So strength's gone up. He cannot be played in a wing zone. I wouldn't do that to you, Lewis. He's number 42. How do I represent that? I'll have to still be blank for now, I suppose. Okay. So that's Lewis. And I've got one more big action that I can do. I, but I can actually, with my green left over, I could activate another card, get some more strength, hire someone. But I could have saved a... A euro by activating him. I could hire another youngster, I suppose. But I want to sell him, don't I, as my main action. Selling, it's just two euros extra, isn't it? Equal to their current strength, yeah. He's lost a strength. I'll sell him, so I don't need him anymore. I'll get three euros back. So he's just gone. And now I've only got one player. Oh, I've got two players, actually. I didn't adjust it when I hired a player, did I? So I will get more maintenance if I hire a player, though. And my maintenance has just gone up for the stadium. I can't increase my stadium. Because I haven't got any main actions left. That's my Thursday action done. So I want you, I want to increase my green by one. I don't think I need strength. I've got three strength. That's okay for now. I don't think I need to activate you. I can only keep one green, though, so you kind of might as well spend something. Do you want another player? It's going to increase your... Remember, you're only getting three income from the fans, and your expenses right now are four. If you hire a player, they're going to be five, so you can only really afford a two-cost player, three with the discount that he'd get you. I mean, a bonus to the strength is nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend my green to activate a card for free again. So I'm only going to be able to do one next time. Because I've got the strength to put the players up, yeah. To hire a player for one money less. I'll hire Ribeiro. I do want Kowalczyk, and he would be an attacker, but I don't. His ability of you know getting extra strength when the stadium is packed out, I can't do that yet. And Ribeiro's strength income increase will hopefully benefit me next round. Is my thought process there? It's not coming until December. Oh, sorry to hear that. 
I think like it is going to be at Essen. Like I, I haven't seen like the the fulfillment bits. Like this is, I didn't think it was happening actually. This was going to come in, and the copies all got delayed somehow, and there was it was just like a, a last minute surprise. I was, we can get a copy to you, uh, just for Essen. Can you still do a playthrough? I said yes, but I, I might not be <laughs> very experienced. Right. So I've hired a person with that ability. That's all of my stuff, isn't it? Let's get let's get scoring goals. Okay, so do we want to change the formation? We know that they don't use dangerous forwards or defenders, so I don't really need to defend as much. Do we want to group them up? He's a defender, isn't he? He's a he's a better defender. So maybe he should Oh, he can't be played in a wing though. So he's he's not good. He's not a good purchase, really. He was a youngster, though. I didn't know what he was going to be. Yeah, you can go there. He's going to get three strength because... There are three fans in the stands now. I think, yeah, I might keep the formation the same. So I don't know how they're going in midfield. Can I just, can I put like defensive people in midfield instead? I assume so. Yeah, the goalie, I might really regret not getting the goalie. Oh, you mean instead of Rubiero? It said they don't do, use dangerous things. I do take your point. I'm not going to reverse it, but I recognise right now that you're probably right. Uh, let me try to check the match. I can, like... I can adjust, like, how I want them left and right, can't I? But... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's 100% clear, like, how I can be messing these around a bit. Because I suppose I don't really need as much defence... If they're not going to be attacking, like maybe I should swap to that. Have the defender on the side. I've just got defence in midfield now, though. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, let's stick with it and really cross our fingers because my my star player's been weakened a bit. So, yeah, stick with it. We have got, in the wing, Downton United, we basically snap one attack versus one defense, one attack versus one defense, nothing. On this wing, we have nothing again. I didn't need to defend, but they've got quite strong defense there. Nothing's getting through. Oh dear, I've just seen the midfield. Okay, up here, I have got a two strength. He's got three temporary strength, but a temporary weakness. So it's a two attacker not getting through. That's my only attack there. They've got a one attack. I've got a one defense. I've got a two defense, actually. So you're not getting through. Midfield, they've got two, two attackers there. I've just got two one defenders. So both those goals get through because my goalkeeper is just basic. Even if I upgraded the goalkeeper, actually, he would still only have strength one. So the goalkeeper doesn't activate. They score twice in the midfield. Yeah, and I'm only going to score once, aren't I? back here they've both got one attack they've got a one defense over here so one gets past him but one actually gets stopped by the goalkeeper either way though even if one had gotten through i completely lose that match so that didn't go very well at all bad tactics perhaps there should maybe put more people in the wing i don't know i couldn't have known that though from the the teaser bit i suppose Okay, after the match effects, we haven't got any anymore. Move on the league table. So we've got 
results. Downtown United played against us. They have won and get three points. We stay where we are, but everyone else, again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to roll the die every single time for another team. Or you just do it like all of the green teams move that many points. Although we do seem to be rolling the same number. Uh, Blackstone Kings won. SFC won. And then Middleman, local club, lost. Dafton United drew. And the Grey, Greytown Bulls drew as well. I don't know if that all works out, but that's what happened. So we are still... Remember, our, our team has done terribly in the past... And the goal of this scenario is to not get relegated and score points while doing it. So yeah, don't don't feel too bad that we're not blazing the charts. Uh, I needed to pay this three strength and I to activate those players, so I shouldn't have any strength left. I've got some money left though. Okay, do all of that. Discard fans from the stands to gain money. We would gain three money from that. Yeah, 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 we've done that, we've done that. Discard your temporary strength and weaknesses. And then cross your fingers. Because it's time for match consequences and we lost. There is... We've got no fans to re-roll this either, so... Ooh, okay, a temporary weakness. I think... Temporary weakness on Svensson again. I'll hopefully build that other stand and pack it with fans. I don't know if I will. That's what I hope to do, though. Okay. So just a temporary weakness again. Could have been worse. Could have been much worse. Someone could have been injured for the next two games. End of the week. Unexhaust all your cards. Pay for maintenance, which is now 1, 2, 3, because I upgraded the stadium. 4. Still going into next week with 3 extra dough. And uh, yeah, keep one of everything, and we go on to week three, where we will be facing Middleham Football Club. Well, that's they're the same position as us. The team has a decent midfield, but lacks good defenders. We need to take advantage of this weakness. Also, watch out for their attacking central midfielder. It's a bit hard for us to do because we can't really um, discard. Like, we can't really hire a great defender to follow that advice. Do I want... I don't want to get rid of all of the players. Remember, I can choose one category of cards to get rid of all of them in the solo game to make up for the fact you're not really seeing that many more. Staff might be the thing. So I don't really need to increase my fans by one more. I could do with money, though, as well, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to go for sponsors. Let's get rid of the row of sponsors. Just the rightmost staff member. And so, Megacorp. A lot of money, but it would drain our income. Discard some injury tokens. Gain the bonus of any of your director cards. Draw three youngster cards. You can look at their train side and hire one for free and discard the others. Ooh, that could be nice. And we could make that our shirt to still get a bit of money out of it. So we put it as an ad board. We've got to decide, haven't we? Right. We've refreshed everything. I think we're ready for the next week. So first of all, we get our income, which is going to be four cash, four fans. Three green, three admin, and five strength.
Did I just take an extra green then, or did I have one hanging around? Okay, and if I get any more strength income, I just get a fan token. Not I don't boost the fan income. So we've had all of that, we draw a board meeting. And it's going to be, oh dear, light strain. Your team doctor diagnosed your best defender with a light strain and suggests that they rest up for the next match. They're highly motivated because the next match is against their former club. What should we do? So we've got the fans to spend, but I don't really want to spend them. It is going to be six. Oh, we can see our directors from here. That's going to be a red choice. Our best defender must play. Get a fan. When rolling for match consequences this week, resolve the effects of a loss regardless of the result. Ooh, otherwise we injure a player or they start with a goal. I think I'm just going to take that. I'm not going to spend stuff to get rid of it. Victory point for your second. Oh, thank you. Yes, Lewis just needed to play in a match to earn a victory point. So Lewis has earned a point. Okay. So yeah, we put a little reminder here to say you know, you, you're using the loss of the thing. A little, a little, make sure you remember that. Right. We've had the board meeting. It is time for Tuesday and some actions. So what I want to do most is build another stand. Pack the stands with fans. Hire Kowalczyk, who is going to just level up at the end of every week now. Let's see. Will you take me there? No. Romano, after the match, regardless of the actual result, resolve the draw section on the match consequences. De Luca, gain a tactic card. Discard a tactic card. So I wouldn't have to do these basic formations necessarily. We want Kowalczyk, don't we? So I, w I want to build stands again. That's Tuesday's action. But I'm also going to spend my two green to activate Jose. Hire a player from the transfer area for one less. He would normally cost three. He's a defender, but he's a, an attacking defender. So we need... Yeah, swap them around, and then there's half attacking, half defending. So that's our first day. Next up, are we going to need money? If we just commit... The fans to the stands. We're going to get four from there. The maintenance. You've got all these players now, haven't you? Oh, I should have one less money, shouldn't I? I don't think I've upped my player count. I think we might need an ad. Receive a bon bonus from any sponsor card in the transfer area. Oh, that's nice. It's not out yet. I think gain the bonus of any direct accord is quite a nice sponsorship. I could get a money now and an income later. And the bonus could be getting another player. I'm just at risk then of not having enough stuff. Like We can train these players as well. They lose their abilities though, don't they? Like Rubiero, it doesn't matter if he loses his ability. He'd get his strength again. He just doesn't get any stronger. Kowalczyk gets stronger, but we want tokens on him, don't we? Before we train him. So I don't think there's a player we want to train. Unless we're going to hire. Another player. Which we could. We're still in the same maintenance section. For hiring one more player. And we've got five strength. But if we want to use Tina's trainer player. We're not going to have that. So we could get a youngster card from Veronica's director ability if we took that sponsorship. Hiring Ken the steward increases fans by one. Good for later. And it's build up your staff. I suppose we want trained youngsters as well, though, for 
this ability. It's in the midfield. It's an attacker in the midfield. I don't think there's anything we can do to defend against this midfielder right now. Need to make sure I refill this display. So, having an attacker might help. And we could just not put one of these players out. We don't have to have Ribeiro go out. It just means if, if they don't play, they can't be the ones injured and stuff. They'd have to be someone that you liked more. So I'm going to get four from there. My income's going to be five. So I could just kind of barely scrape through if I just earned one. Yeah, made this my shirt. Get a money now, an income for later, and gain the bonus of one of your cards. I don't want to hire staff, necessarily, because that will increase my things as well. Yeah, there are multiple um, there are multiple opponent cards for each team. Which, I'm not sure if they have the exact same... Let's see, Great Hound Bulls over here. They have the same stuff on the back. The same description. In the Division 3-2 deck, yeah, anyway. But they've got different placements of their players. So I think it's the same stats, but they put things on different wings or they, yeah, they've swapped their three in the middle and it's on the wing on this side. So you can't, like, I'm not sure exactly how many there is of each team, but there are, there are multiple. You can't just, um, yeah, you can't just memorize who you're going to be against. Right. So we need to do something with money, though. Whatever you're doing. And we could earn tons of money right now, but hurt our income later. We don't need to discard injuries. Let's go for this. Let's make this our shirt. So if you do it, if you do the shirt, you get the bonus and the income from it. So we get one money right now, an income for later, gain the bonus of any of your director cards because we have taken sponsorship from Schwing Cassettes. We can't take another sponsor under our ad boards until we build the third ad board. So take the bonus of one of my directors. Draw three youngster cards. You can look at their trained side and hire one for free and discard the others. Or draw three staff cards, hire one for free and discard the others. I'm going to do youngsters. So you see, all the same apart from, you know, defensive... They're all ones is what I'm trying to say. They're different in every other way. Rather than they're all the same. So, Zuma, once upgraded, potential for two points on all of these. Campos is, they're all strength two when you upgrade them. Perfect header. When sold, draw and hire the top player card for free instead of gaining money for him. That's interesting. So it's another better attacker. I don't know if we want to sell them, though. Because do we need? We need to have trained three youngsters. It doesn't say have them, but I suppose like. That's your proof of uh, having trained them. Yeah, we'll go for him. So we could train him now. If I didn't want to put all of my players on the pitch. Qualtic's got to play if we want his ability to kick in. Rubiero doesn't need to play though. So I think we use the two green to activate our first trainer. Train one of your players and put a temporary strength on the player card. We're going to train Zuma. Who should have six, but six is attacking. So I think we've got to put a defender somewhere. You probably want a defender back, don't you? Perhaps. Right. See, and he's got strength three right now. But we had to spend a strength to activate that ability, so we've only got four strengths. So I, I feel like I'm going to spend the strength on these players. Unless I'm getting a strength. Like, I could activate their action for the last... For Thursday's main action. I could activate one of my fitness trainers and get the strength that I need. It's just that Rubiero playing isn't really an advantage to me, is it? We could get another ad. We can't build anything in the stands I can't afford. We can't build the office I can't afford. 
I don't want another player. We're full now and I haven't got strength anyway. If we hire staff, then my maintenance goes up and I potentially won't be able to afford. We could, we could sell Riviera. Get us some money for later. Oh yeah, I put it as the shirt sponsor, didn't I? Thank you. Oh, so I, could, I have still got an ad board one. Got injuries to discard though, and I don't really want to draw player cards, so so have the money then and don't have the bonus. Three money now and an income. The income would be a green, which wouldn't really help you, would it? It could be trained later though. Like if you chosen to train Oh, he gets me two strength tokens. When he was trained. Boom. There we go. We've got all the strength that we need. Okay, so now that's not a dilemma. What do we do? We probably just want an ad then. Just get one that'll get you five... Money. And then that's not a problem next time, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just get one of these ads. I'll keep the injuries one out. I might, I might be desperate for that later. Yeah. Gamers Cafe Club, we're just going to do an announcement so we just get the five money now and nothing later. Because we can hang on to extra money. And I don't have to worry about the maintenance and stuff going up. Match day. Okay, so team has a decent midfield but lacks good defenders. So he's got to go in midfield. I probably want to group these up. I could do 4-4-2 and get more people in midfield. It's just, they've got, watch out for their attacking central midfielder. Sounds like there's going to be someone good that I'm not going to be able to do anything about. Oh, Ribeiro's on the bench, isn't he? I didn't put him in the match. I, could, I might as well, because I'm losing the strength, aren't I? If I don't put him in, I don't get to keep that strength. He might as well be in the match. He's got extra attack. Don't forget he can't be in a wing. But we can group them up, can't we? They can all go in the middle. He can't go in a wing. Stop trying to put him in a wing. Like... This might really come back to bite me, but I'm kind of thinking if there's this really great attacking central midfielder, they've got four people in the midfield, though. So if there's this really great guy, is there any point even defending against it? Because... Yeah, he's got loads. We'll go like that. I think that's okay. So let me just check. Have I done everything leading up to this? Do that, do that, do that. Put the fans in there. Play a tactic card. The classic 424. It's worked so far. Before the match effect, for each fan in the stands, give him a strength. So he's got four strength, but he has got a temporary weakness. So he is a three right now, though. No more before the match stuff. Let's have a look at how middle are going to play. Ooh, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. So wing, complete waste going in that wing because my one attacker meets with a load of defense. No attacking from them. Over on this side, they didn't defend at all against my midfielder, but they've got an attack of three and of two against a single defense. They both get through. 2-1 at the moment. Up front, Svensson. Is strength three, gets through the 
Oh, wait a minute. Nine would get stopped by the keeper. Oh, he got stopped anyway. He got stopped anyway. Keeper hasn't had to come into effect yet. Uh, Svensson is strength three. So nothing can stop him. Your defender. And you are strength one. So you're stopped by defenders. In the middle, one attack versus one defense. Nothing gets through. And then back here, they do an attack, which my one defender stops an attack which my goalkeeper stops and my goal gets through, we do it. Against all odds, Newbie FC has scored their second win, I think. We have got to roll on the table as if we lost, but I'm pretty pleased with that. We jump up to six points on the league table and make sure Middleham, middle, Middleham local club do not move. And then we see how the other teams did. How did... Um, let's move from the top first. SFC. Drew. Blackston Kings won. Oh dear, they've won all of them so far. Downton United, they won as well. But remember, we're just not going to get relegated. Uh, the Greytown Bulls. Go up. Dafton United. Won. And then BFC lost again, and Cornfield United lost. So actually, we are, what are we right now? One, two, three, four, fifth? That's not too bad. Three games in, we're fifth in the league table after predicting complete relegation. The, the aim of the game is avoid relegation right now. But we have got to have, discard fans from the stands... To earn cash, yes. Made of money right now. Discard your temporary stuff. And then roll for match consequences. But we have to roll on the match consequences table as if we lost and I don't have any fans to adjust this. It is six, brilliant. That is two temporary strength. Do I have to roll to see who they go to? No, on any player card that was assigned to the match. Okay, then. Oh, your temporary strength should be gone. So, oh, after the match effects, we did play with a sold-out stadium. He gets a permanent strength. So I'm putting two strength on somebody. Svensson's all, always going to be quite good. Yeah, I might want a really great defender. But we might just let something through. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Zuma. Midfield. Get two temporary strength on him. He's fired up after that game. Okay, dun dun dun. Roll the opponent dice and move their team markers. Unexhaust all your cards. Pay your maintenance, which is two four five. And keep all your money. Only keep one of everything else. And then discard the cards. What are we going to get rid of? I think maybe staff. Build a stands for free. I've already built them. Game tactic cards. Yeah, I'm going to do staff. Staff will completely redo. And then it's just the furthest one of all the other stacks discards. And the player deck. I think we're good. Well, probably the top youngster should be going. I don't know. 
Right, so we've got a defending youngster there now. I think we're ready. So Monday we need to get our income, which is going to be... I've got those um, multiplied somewhere. There they are. Five money. Five strength. Three green. Four red. And I'm tempted to just get them straight on the stands so I don't spend them on anything frivolous. Victory points for Zuma. Oh, Zuma, you beauties. Did Zuma score? Six. He scored, didn't he? He's got one for each. I mean, he's earned his money by far, hasn't he? I mean, New BFC seems to me to be dominating. Ignore the higher up teams. Put his scores back to zero. Right. Like, Ribeiro doesn't really need to be on the team, does it? It's just an action to sell him. Because more players now puts us into the red zone. Three on the maintenance. We can always upgrade Ribeiro and then he'd have higher strength. Okay, we've had the income. Let's have the meeting and see how that goes. Foreign investor. Sheikh L. Ali wants to buy 51% of your club. It will boost the finances, but your influence on the board will decline. And the fans, what should we do? Oh dear. There's a like extra influence on this, I think. That makes it harder for us to say anything else. <gasps> the middle thing, plus one strength. You can't place fans on the stands this week. I want the red one. Come on. Five or six. It's a three. Which is going to be... You vote blue, you vote blue. You vote yellow. So two yellow, two blue, that is. Which means we re-roll, I think. Just let me double check on that. I'm sure I read it was a re-roll situation. It usually happen, of course. If you a tie, re-roll for free. And it is a two, which would be blue, yellow, yellow, yellow. So they're going to say, yes, this is our chance to become a prominent club. Two money... Oh, two, two extra income, which would just get me two green. Oh, I don't know if, if that actually has an effect yet. So I don't want the middle thing, and I'd have to re-roll to get the red thing. Yeah, I don't know if I should have re-rolled there. What was it originally? Three? So I would have had to pay one to get it to a two? I don't want to not put fans out. For sure. I don't know. Whatever happened, yellow's happening now. So I get two income, which I can't get, so I just get green now. And not green income, just green tokens. And we've got an extra director influencing the decisions. Okay. Actions then. Complete sportswear. Flip up to three jersey marks to their other side. I want that. Can't though, it's too far out. What if we just went all out attack? Let's have a look at the scout report. Steel Chester FC, they're an average team, will probably avoid relegation and won't get promoted. They focus on pressing and counter attacks, but their forwards rarely start individual actions. That doesn't mean very much to me. <laughs> Everyone attacks. There's a goalkeeper but not available to buy yet. Decrease any opponents attacking by two strength. I like you. Gain a tactic card, discard a tactic card. For each trained forward on your team, it's two. Place a temporary strength on this card. I have to pay strength to do that, though, is the downside there. I like him. I might sell Ribeiro. Hire Eckenfels with my card action. So, Ribeiro. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm going to sell him for two more than his strength. So that gets me three. For free, because I'm spending the two green, I can use Jose's hire any player from the transfer area for one less. So you only cost me one. So you're number 77. Oh, no, defence side. If you get upgraded, you still keep your ability, but you get stronger. Maybe you should be the person trained. Okay, we're on Wednesday. So we've still got the use of a card as well. We've still got a couple of green. Strength. I've got enough strength to put everyone out. I'm going to shuffle the player deck. I'm tempted to flip up to three jersey markers to their other side and make more people attacking. Could that work? So the people who were supposed to be defenders would have to be defenders still, but we could turn three defenders into attackers. Could that backfire? We'll find out. Uh, portal cookies are going under the ad board. Receiver bonus from any transfer card in transfer area. I'm going to choose this one. Flip. That's the bonus, isn't it? I'm not getting bonus and effect confused, am I? Because if I am, that's rubbish. and I don't want it. Nope, that's the bonus. Yeah, flip up to three jersey markers to their other side. I'm going to probably regret this. Oh, I do need strength to activate his ability, though. So I've still got five players. I've still got six on the stadium. So I do want to upgrade, don't I? I want at least nine infrastructure. You've got loads of money. So I did a sponsor on Wednesday. Thursday, let's build something in the stadium then. And let's... Yeah, let's get a boost to our green. It all costs three. So we'll get four every round. I probably want to activate a card though, don't I? I mean, we could just not put all the players out. Get your fans in the stands. Before you forget and spend them. Next, I need a strength on each of these to get them out and play in. We could just not play Lewis this time. We'd be a bit worse off on defence. And then I'd have the strength available to train a player and put a temporary strength on the card. But you'd only train one of these. Yeah, train Ek Ekenfels. And he gets an extra defense. But their forwards rarely start individual actions. For what it's worth. No, just don't do that. Use your extra green to... If you just gain two strength, though, there's no point to that. We'll just lose the extra card action. I haven't hired enough staff to get a useful action, I don't think. So the five strength is going on activating these five people. The sixth strength is going on activating his ability. Decrease any opponent's um, attacking ability by two strength. Which we will activate in due course. 
So that's the three things. We've done this. We are... Are we sticking with the tactic? Their forwards rarely start individual actions. Because I'm pressing and counter-attacks. I don't know how that's going to affect this card. Before the match effects, he gets four strength on him and he hasn't got a weakness for a change. Because the stands are full. Nobody can believe what's been happening at New BFC. Nobody's been injured or sent off yet. I th I'm, I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm sticking with this formation. Okay, we're against a harder team now as well, aren't we? So let's do the wing. Oh, they're defending everywhere. So I've got, you're just standard, you're just standard. One, one, just blocked off. Nothing gets through. Over on here, standard, standard. Oh, no, you're not standard. You are strength four. So you're not blocked, but you are blocked by this three defense. We've scored them. In their zone. Yeah, because the goalkeeper is only a two strength. We've got my Svensson is strength four. Nothing is stopping strength four. 2-0. Uh, they are attacking. Oh, no, there's another attack here. That's just strength one, though. So, yeah, the defender can stop that. Goalkeeper hasn't even had to wake up yet. Their three strength attack flies straight past my one defense and my one goalkeeper. So it's 2-1. Out in the middle. Ouch, you didn't tell me about this. Um, I've got... Oh, actually, I can decrease anyone's attacking ability by two, can't I? It doesn't really matter whose I do. I'll decrease his, so the defender actually stopped it. Have that. Uh, in the middle, we're just all attacking, so we all get through. So they score three in the midfield, but I score another one. Out here, they aren't attacking. I am attacking with Kowalczyk, who has two strength, gets past there, but doesn't get past the goalkeeper, unfortunately. I think that's the best we can do. Should have gone on this wing. You, could, you can't know, though. I think that's it. Oh, well, it could have been a loss, couldn't it? So... Steelchester and myself each get a point. And let's just do these things. I've got a feeling, because there's a die of each colour, I'm supposed to just roll once for all the teams of that colour. But you can, you can let me know for sure. In future times, you lost red. We didn't play against... Oh, we played against that red. These top reds. You just drew this time. Hey, they've stopped winning every single game. It's all right, isn't it? Come on. The people facing relegation here, BFC, they've only ever drawn a game so far. Oh, and they lost as well. So, yeah, green just not doing so hot. We have stayed in the same position, haven't we? I think everyone drew, basically. Drew or lost how our strange league works okay so we've done all of that after the match effects did you play with a sold out stadium i did he gets a permanent strength and then we lose all the temporary stuff didn't hire any youngsters or anything to level up though but i have trained three youngsters that's all i need isn't it i just need another staff type and that's another ability i've unlocked there we just need to not get relegated to win. I think things are looking good, right? Things have got to drastically change. I suppose we've only got seven points, but still. Two, is it two more games left to play? Yeah, two more games left to play. I'm feeling pretty confident, right? You roll for, roll for each team. Okay, then. It should be that the dice are different then, I guess. Red more likely to win. Yeah, red's 50-50 to win. Two sides are ones, one side is loss. And I think green is the opposite of that. Like, loss was half of it, I think. Oh no, two loss, two draw, three draw, one win. And then, is this more even? 
yeah, two loss, two draw, two win. Yeah. So red are the harder teams, blue medium, green easy. That makes sense. So we've done all that stuff. We have discarded the temporary things. We've just got to do match consequences. If I find my die. We drew 3-3. Three, three. So, and I got a pretty good result. That is an increase. I think let's increase. Oh, it's like it's a temporary strength. Temporary increase. But hey, increase and increase. Let's increase the... I want someone else. You need to hire more players then. Let's yeah, let's get three let's get three strength attackers. Zuma can have that temporary strength. That's pretty good. Okay. Unexhaust everything. Pay your maintenance. Two, four, five still. That's basically just my income. Have you upgraded that properly? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you haven't. You need to pay an extra one because the stadium is in the red zone now, maintenance wise. But we do, you know, we'll, we'll get points if we can get it upgraded a load. And then past the stage marker, we are into week five. Who do I want to discard all of? I want that goalkeeper that's got three uses. Can't really get him though, unless we hire like two players. Which you could do. It's just strength that would be the issue, wouldn't it? You just have to get your fitness trainer activated. So no one's been injured really yet. Staff. There's a different type waiting right there. Build an office for less. You spend... A dollar less for maintenance. Doctor. I've already got a scout. I don't really want that chief financial officer though. She's good at getting points. Now I'm going to refresh the staff again. So just the rightmost and the rightmost player. Go. And then all of the staff get replaced. If I'd got her earlier and been working on the office, that would probably have been good. But I don't think I'm going to have the money to get it to the really upper echelon. You see there, your first upgrade of the office costs you three and gets you two points at the end. You could be earning some big, big points from all of that. Which maybe I'll regret not doing. We'll see, we've got an assistant trainer there now. Who can flip a temporary strength into a permanent strength? Shame that we can't. That uh, Svensson doesn't get his temporary strength until the match has started. But Zuma could have a permanent strength there. Let's see what we've got. Robert Mitch, Steward, Tactic. Gain some more tactic cards. I like Samantha Smith. But first, we need our income. Let's see. We get five of you. We get five fans now. We get five strength. And we get four infrastructure. And then the board meeting. Charity. One of the charity organisations we support likes to raise money by organising contests. Those who enter can win a day out with the players. Should we let our players miss a day of training for this? Seems like we should. The board vote blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So we re-roll that. Oh dear, the board vote all yellow. No problem, it won't cost us anything as long as it's not right before a match. That loses us... A strength income. I th think we'll stick with it. I didn't get my four income, did I, from these fans here? I've got loads of money. I should be, I should have hired the... Oh, dear. She would have got discarded, though. She was on the right, wasn't she? Yeah, I should have hired her. 
Okay then. And I couldn't have kept both of these green at the end of last time. So we want to keep rebuilding the stadium. We could build and get that strength back. I would like to hire Samantha Smith. I would like to hire a player. Can't quite get the goalkeeper yet. If your team scores at least three goals, score an additional goal. I mean, that sounds good. We want strength is going to be the issue here. We might have to do the action to get more strength then. But I want to train people. Can't do everything. Right. Let's just get this staff member locked in. Hire her is today's action for one. And then let's use her ability, which costs me two green. And a strength, though. You're just going to have to earn more strength. And they don't, these players don't all have to be out. To flip a temporary strength to a permanent strength. There we go. That's our first action. Second action, I probably want to work on the stadium now that it's it's in the red zone for maintenance anyway. Let's boost that strength income back up. So that costs three to upgrade your stadium. And it boosts the strength income back up. Then, where are we? Hey Toto, how's it going? Yeah, I'll hire a I'll spend two green to hire a player from the transfer area for one less. So you cost three instead of four. Becker over here. Super sub if your team scores at least three goals, score an additional goal. Keeps that when he's upgraded as well. So we now need to make sure that six and seven are in the midfield. And then third action, we can still do a card, so we can still get that strength that we need. We could get the goalkeeper. He costs three to hire. But. He's got three opportunities of blocking off a one shot. Who are we against? This team usually bounces between second and third division. They have two talented and competitive midfielders. Who intend to score. My midfield defence is nothing so. I might just put. Just not defend in the midfield. Or actually, like, you might as well just... Yeah, there's no defenders in the midfield anyway right now. You might as well just keep your, your attackers there and hope you're just all attacking. I've got six players now. We're not going to be able to have all the players out. I'm going to hire the goalkeeper. So he costs three. My player maintenance is going through the roof. I can have, though, the stands full again. And... I'm not sure how we represent him. He can just stand there. So I could do a bonus action with my two green. And if I want these people playing, I'm going to have to use that action to gain two strength. So if we want to use his ability of being able to decrease an opponent's attack by two, we're going to have to leave a player off. We want Becker on. If you score at least three goals, do an additional one. He's three strength. He's three strength. He's four strength. Why have I got this one? Oh, and the goalkeeper. 
So we're leaving Lewis off, and it's just going to be a generic defender. Yes. Yes. I'm never moving this, am I? Match day. They're playing 5 3 2. I might do 4 4 2 then. Just have chaos in the midfield. Yeah, I'm going to do 4-4-2 instead of my 4-2-4. Right. The pitch ever so slowly just drifting up the table. I'm happy with that, so you're on the bench. What have I got myself into here? Oh. I thought it told me to be scared of their midfield. Right. So wings. Defending here. So he, his attack is wasted. This wing, he's just standard. So his one attack gets blocked. Their two attack, I could lower it so the keeper can grab it. No, it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. You can only place... Three players in central field. Okay. Well, now I kind of know, but <laughs> let's put let's put him in the left hand one. He'd still get through actually. Wherever you put him, he's got three strength. So when we evaluated that wing, he got through. This wing, he gets defended against. And do I want to lower his attack? It's the same as lowering his attack, isn't it? One's going to get through either way. Now, let's let him through. Over here, they have got a lot of defence. I'm glad I moved someone back. But Svensson gets his four temporary strength, so no one can defend against that. Their attack is a three, but I'll use Eckenfels to lower it to a one. So my generic defender defends against that. In the midfield, my goalkeeper can use one of his three uses to stop that shot. And then all of mine are getting... Oh no, the keeper might stop some. So, you've already gone. You are strength one, aren't you? Are you all strength one? So the keeper stops one of you. Has the keeper stopped something already? I don't think so. Keeper stops one, the other two get through. And then down here, they're attacking with strength four. So my one defender isn't going to stop that, or my goalkeeper. Uh, but then I am attacking with strength three. Five, two. I think that's how it's going. So, new BFC moves up to ten points. And let's resolve everyone. Blackston Kings, one, two, three point win. Downtown United. Just drew. We are, well, tentatively in third place. Oh, and SFC, they won. So they've jumped over us. Uh, Daf Dafton United just drew. Greytown Bulls lost. Middleman Local Club lost. Cornfield United lost. And BFC drew. Good on you, BFC. So that leaves us fourth. I think that's better, isn't it, than last time? It's pretty good. So you lose all of your temporary stuff. I never put it on him. We played a sold-out stadium. Kowalczyk is now strength four attacker. Roll your home dice. And then we need to do our match consequences. Where's the orange die? We won. I've got a fan to spend if this goes all wrong. It does. We'd have to injure two players for two games. So I'll spend a fan to re-roll that. Could be the same thing. 
And it's got to be someone that took part. Oh, actually, if your team scores at least three goals, score an extra goal. Whoop. 6-2. Not that it makes any difference. Six. There we go. Perfect. Just stall in for that extra, that extra couple of shakes was all it took. We get an extra fan income, which is the equivalent of getting a money. Because we're already maxed out on that. That's pretty good going. I would prefer to have trained someone. But, you know, it's better than two people getting injured, isn't it? So. Dun, 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 dun. Unexhaust your cards. Pay for maintenance. So we've got four money from the fans. Maintenance is three, six, seven. And I have to do something about income if we want to be spending money. And when I was talking about how much money I had, was all that gone. We have upgraded the stadium though. It's on eight, isn't it, right now? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We've only got to upgrade it once more to get two points. If we upgrade it three more times, we'd get four points, but I don't think that's happening. Right. But I feel like the team's in a pretty good place right now. Okay. So we are... Do we want to refresh staff or sponsors? There's no point doing it with players because... <laughs> this is your player display. <laughs> because because of the scenario always want to keep pointing that out in case anyone's tuned in late and thought oh there's only like 10 players in the game now we've removed loads for the scenario that we're playing i'm apparently removing all the staff i don't know why because i don't think i'm going to hire any staff were at five as well so there's my last money gone uh oh and then i think you need to be moved along so, that puts us at week six, the last week, and income is going to be five fans, five money, four green, five strength, and board meeting anonymous report someone says one of our sponsors in, is investing in criminal enterprises should we quit working with them what do the board think the board think five red blue red no opinion yes our fans won't like it discard a sponsor from your stadium board and pay back its left-hand bonus if possible. Uh, that just frees up an ad board, or a... Doesn't it? Uh, I can't. I've got... Oh, I've got five money. <gasps> That's losing all my money. Oh, they've both got that. We can change it. Minus one on the green income is probably better, isn't it? What's the number? Five. So we could spend a red to knock that down to a four, and then it'll be blue. It's probably not true. Why should we trust this anonymous report anyway? Just move your green and come down one, because that's it's the last round. That's not going to affect me. Yeah, we'll spend the red to change the die by one, because we can with Caroline's ability. And rather than losing all of our money for the round, we just lose a reputation. Okay. So, it's time for action. Cell number 42 for the money. He is worth some money, isn't he? He's not really worth anything to me as well. He's worth four money. Because I can't, unless I build an ad board, I can't take ads on as well. I can take them just for their instant thing. So in these cases, five money, which is all right. Maybe I could sell him. If I'm not putting him out anyway, he isn't really doing that much, is he? In terms of players, I'm not that fussed about hiring any of the players that are out there. Maybe a youngster. Get them trained, because why not? Worth some more points. I'd like... I'm supposed to be getting rid of a youngster every time. Still a defender. Midfield defender.
I think... We need to build something in the stadium. We need a load of money. Let's get a sponsor. Number one. It's just for five money right now. That's a big action. Do we want to activate a card? You probably might as well. Yeah, pay two green to activate a card to give us two strength. Then, we'll sell Lewis, because we keep the points, for two plus his strength, which is four. And do a free action, maybe? Train someone? Hire a player I'm not as keen on. We don't have any temporary strength to flip. Well, you would if you, com if you comboed Tina and Samantha. That would work out well. Now, Tina will pay the two green to do a card ability outside of the turn. Strength to activate it. Train one of your players. I'm going to train Becker and put a temporary strength on him. So he's a three attacker for this turn. Still got his great ability. And then third thing is going to be to upgrade the stadium in some way. Why not upgrade it in the way that gives us the most points? This one's got two point symbols on it. And it would give me a red income, which translates to a money, which is good as well. Costs three to upgrade the stadium. We're already at the max um, cost as well. Still at six players, so the maintenance won't go down on that. I think that's okay. We haven't got any more green to activate anything. So we are into the weekend already. Steel Chester FC. I think we've played against them before. So it's the same description. But uh, yeah, they might do something different. Did we play them in Division 3 Stroke 2? Yeah. They were the, they were the first one from Division 3 Stroke 2 we played against. So we've got the strength to have all the players on the pitch, but I haven't got the strength to Oh dear. I haven't got the strength to activate Eckenfell's ability, which is a shame because if I can't activate his ability, I'm not as bothered about having him out. We could not have the goalkeeper. That seems risky. I definitely want these out. Their forwards rarely start individual actions. Oh, Becker's seven. I can't move him. Yeah, we'll go like that. I'm not going to have the goalkeeper on. So I'm going to activate all of you, and then I've got an extra one for his ability. Then we've got loads of money. That should surely see us through the maintenance. Probably didn't need to do the sponsor. We'll see. Okay, the match. Oh dear. Okay, so on the wing, it is just attacks. So my goalkeeper can't save a two anyway. So they score. Reset. And let's see. My six is strength three. So the goalkeeper of um, strength two is not stopping that. This is just a generic player of strength one. So the goalkeeper can stop that. But his one use is gone. Over on the other wing, their attack of two... I've got no defenders on the wing. My goalkeeper of strength one can't stop that. So that gets through. You are a basic player. You're a basic player. So those defenders stop both of those goals. That's a shame. Up here, Svensson. I keep forgetting to give it in, but he gets his four temporary strength. 
So he is four. There is a three defender, but that's not quite good enough. So he scores. Eight is just generic, so this three defender can stop him. The three attack here, I'm going to use Eckenfeld's ability to knock it down to a one. And my goalkeeper can stop that. In the midfield, we've got my attack of value three. He's got a three defender, that's a shame. And then he's got an attack one, I've got a defend one. Oh no. And then over here, he is strength four though. He's strength four, he scores. Phew. And he's not attacking. So perfect. If your team scores at least three, score an additional goal. That didn't matter though, because it's 4-2, I think. You didn't... Did I fix whatever I did? A comment came up and disappeared. I think, I think it's 4-2. I think... Which is very good, isn't it? You didn't use a goalkeeper. I think I used one eventually. They definitely used theirs, didn't they? Yeah, I think I stopped this one in the middle here. No, I, no, I knocked him down to, to one with Eckenfels and I used my goalkeeper on him because there was no defender up here. So yeah, they got through. That one was undefended. That one was undefended. That was defended. That was defended. Yeah, so they scored two to my four, scored three, and then after the match, if you scored at least three, score an additional goal. If you played with sold-out stadiums, get another permanent strength on him. I don't think that makes any difference now, but you might as well. No one's got any point scoring things because they're not youngsters. But then in terms of points in the league, one, two, three. Steel Chester aren't going to be moving. I wonder if I might have... Um... You've got a standard keeper, though. Like, I didn't pay for this keeper. But you've got a, everyone's got like a built-in one strength, one use goalkeeper. So I wonder if I roll the die for the team I played against last week. I can't remember now. I might have. Right. So you... I've gone up. Steel Chester are not going up. Let's roll for the other reds. Come on, lose so I can draw first. No, they won. Oh, well. Downtown United drew, so they go up one, and blue, daft down, nothing, Greytown Bulls, nothing, middleman, local club, Middleham, local club, nothing, a lot of losses this week, where's the other die, here it is, Corn, oh, BFC, drew, good on you, and then finally, Cornfield United lost, I mean, what a what a dreadful season for them. So there are the standings for this season, and that's pretty amazing. Since the goal admittedly, it's scenario one. You're playing in division three, which is easy difficulty, although you know the, the strong players have been removed and stuff. If you want to caveat, like the game isn't just gonna be easy just because I did well in this league. Uh, unexhaust all your cards. None of that really matters. Just make sure you pay the maintenance though. So I get one, two, three, four to spend from there. Maintenance is three, six, eight. So I need to pay another four. So still got some money left over. And then end of the game stuff. Your position on the league table gives you some points. So there, there's a score sheet as well. Your position in the league table determines some victory points. So I am second in the league table. That is going to get me 10 points. And I regret putting the pens far away. So, uh, league table, 10 points. Victory point tokens, let's see. We've got... One, two, three, four on our youngsters. Is pen running out? And you supply sets of staff cards. Well, I actually went for all separate staff cards apart from. But that's okay though, because the first trainer and assistant trainer, they're from the same set. So they are worth 
two points for that set scoring because I've got two of them. Uh, Jose Mills on his own, but one is worth one point. So we're on three. Fitness trainers I got two off. Two is worth three points. So that's six altogether. Yeah, this pen's running out. Come on. Trusty space pen. We'll see us through. And we get some extra points from this stuff as well. Uh, stadium infrastructure, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see the symbols on there. The office, we didn't do anything, but I'm going to use this section. Did we train three youngsters? Yes, we did. That's four points on the scenario. Did we have staff cards from four different sets? Oh, no, I didn't. That's three sets then, isn't it? I didn't get those four points, but I did get some points from the staff sets, I suppose. So I've got four points for the training of the three youngsters. And then... Nobody was suspended. You lose a point for everyone suspended at the end. No one got suspended in the match. How does that happen? Events and stuff? Some card effects result in the suspension of some players. It's probably like... Um... Oh, we didn't do the thingy card as well, did we? I don't know where this comes in. Our objective card. I don't know where that's scored on here, but we, we got at least nine stadium infrastructure, so we have two points from that as well. So our final score is 14, 20, 28, 32, 34, which I think is fairly respectable. So the actual scenario we played, the goal of it is you consider it a win if you weren't relegated. That's how low your expectations are at taking on this team in scenario one as long as you so you would be relegated if you were bottom or second to bottom uh yeah you can only hire those what's it ones yep yeah, 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 yeah. oh we're supposed to be put in yeah you can only hire regular players this card cards allowing you to hire veterans when they enter the transfer area I'm not sure how veterans enter the transfer area. We did okay without um, veterans entering anyway. Uh, so yes, there is a solo mode. Well, you know there's a solo mode. We've been playing it. There is a table in the solo rulebook. So the solo rulebook is basically like do the director draft just by yourself. Pick a scenario and do the extra things on it. At the end of each week you discard the right most of each thing but you can also choose an entire display you can, you can choose an entire section to wipe and then at the end you might get extra points from the scenario and you can based on the division you were playing and the points you got decide what you got i got less than 40 amateur manager so it may seem like i did well in the old league and i passed the scenario but as far as the solo ranking is concerned it's not very happy with me uh, that's the lowest section there 34 points as well not even like six points away from even assistant to the manager and uh, so yeah that is just scenario one of the base games mode so there are a load of extra things on there like if you want a little look at uh, scenario two rivalry this town is too sm small for two big football clubs there are two stadiums and fans are divided the rivalry started nearly 100 years ago and it doesn't look like it'll end anytime soon this season however is special as both clubs have a chance to get promoted the club with the highest standing in the league table will gain more fans more respect and most importantly will win the rivalry will you be able to win against your rival the board expects you to reach level of assistance of a manager so 40 points if you're playing on league three i think you can pick the league here the board highly appreciates it if you manage to win the match in the sixth week against your rivals and finish the season in a higher place in the league than your rivals. So you'll like choose a team from a higher division and with a red opponent team mark, so it's more likely they'll win. Oh dear. And there's a load of restrictions on what you can do with your fans and stuff. The seven fans on the town map show where the fans live during setup put two red on two different blue things after each match you win gain a fan and put it in an empty space you get more fa oh so there's like a little tug of war over the fans in the city in this scenario so yeah there's, there's six of these scenarios first one you see pretty basic but still very thematic uh, and yeah th there are six things built into the base game i will show you okay if, if you just wanted to see the game and stuff thank you for watching i'll be back later with some essen talk in like 
two and a half hours. Um, but if you bear with me for a sec, does the Be Right Back screen work? I will grab the expansions and show you them. Hello. So there are more things you can get as well. I think there's like if you went all in on Kickstarter or GameFan, wherever it was, you could get like a big play mat. And I think there are like alternate setup cards and stuff. There is more beyond this. But we can. I'm like, it's, it's doubtful. Does anyone remember the, the Mr. Bean videos when he used to have all the different colors in front of him and tell him that you, you can buy more of them? So we've got Unexpected Events Stadium out of breath, international players, international cup, and solo campaign. It can be used in various combinations. Uh, it does, I don't think it says on the box for the solo campaign one. So I said earlier, the solo campaign makes it kind of more like, well, it's a, it's a campaign. It's an ongoing thing rather than just these separate scenarios. You start out season one in division three, it's not just this scenario. It's got its own things in there. And uh, a little note from designer Thomas Jensen, kind of saying like to evoke the feel of, you know, a football manager game where you kept hold of these teams. There's a different uh, scoring rank for your manager. Certain, certain cards, certain elements are just for this mode, but there are also, like you can move between clubs and stuff in it, but there are also some components that just get shuffled into all of the normal decks. I think that is true of all of the expansions. They do their specific thing, but they also come with a load of cards for the main game as well. It doesn't recommend, like if you're just in it for solo, it doesn't recommend unexpected events or international cup expansions. They are not recommended in the solo mode. But if you do, there's a couple of things here where like if if uh, yeah if you choose to include them in there, there's a couple of suggestions for you. But yeah, maybe avoid those two if you're only looking at solar. Otherwise, they'll add things that you'll probably be into. The International Cup expansion. I mentioned this is where you will be playing like a a tournament, you know, an elimination, a World Cup style tournament, where you will be. Well, you'd be doing that. You'd be playing against new people. You'd be playing it in this tournament. There are new cards and things, new board meetings and stuff to all shuffle in. But this is the expansion, I believe, where you play against other players as well. So normally you're in the same league, but you're all playing against teams in the way that I just did, drawing those cards and you know, you're, you're competing for the stuff that's out in the display and all of that. But you don't play against matches against each other. This includes some way of playing matches against other players not constantly but you will you know hopefully encounter each other in uh, that cup there is international players uh, where you can like again there's new cards to include in the main thing and new players but you make you make an international team now oh you can make, make a spe specific international team or you can just shuffle all the players together and have uh, loads more choice uh, new worldwide types of play and stuff there's flight tokens in some way like this isn't necessarily like the well i hope it's not the last thing of 11 i would like to let me know if you'd like to see more i would like to be back with at least another scenario maybe we could crack open the solo campaign i wanted to make sure the first video just base game stuff rather than like mix it all in stadium expansion there's new staff, there's board meetings and all of that. Uh, new sponsors and everything. But uh, new tokens, like more options to expand your stadium rather than the built-in same expansions that everyone gets all of the time. And then, unexpected events. If the board meetings aren't enough for you, uh, then you can introduce a load more event cards in there. Uh, each match you've got to 
So they, they affect each match and resolve them according to your players' tags. Oh yeah, because your players have your players have got these tags on them here that kind of give you a suggestion as what the flavor what the ability is going to be. There's some flavor text of what the ability might turn into. Uh, but so yeah, they might have some effect in here. Uh, and you've got a reputation board. You try and have the most uh, reputation as well, which you can gain when resolving board meetings and unexpected events. Reputation gives you stronger abilities, but it's very easy to lose. So yes, amongst many things available for 11, there are all of those expansions, each with their own kind of special flavor, but also with... Um, more bits for the game in general as well. A lot of stuff that can be shuffled in. So yeah, you can you can mix and match based on the bits that you like the most, but I think there's still plenty that you can uh, be playing with just in the base game on its own. There are rules for player versus player, but not in the retail version, unfortunately. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's just um, something that Joanna mentioned to us when we had our little demo of it. That I thought, like, the, the multiplayer solitariness of... Well, it's not. But the, the fact that we're not playing against other players and stuff, I don't mind that. I quite like that. Especially since, like, hey, I'm, I'm playing it solo right now. I'm not bothered, am I? Uh, but, yeah, I, I can see that there will be a big subsection, particularly people keen on the the competition aspect of uh, football, probably want that um, playing against other players' teams. But it's harder to do, isn't it? I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to see how it's done, because... How would you keep it secret? I guess I'll, I'll see it at some point, I assume. Anyway, that is it for now. As I said, I am going to be back for an Essen Top 10 at 8 p.m. tonight, British time, which is in roughly two and a half hours, uh, where I'll talk about some Essen games. It's kind of started, hasn't it? It hasn't really. This is setup day, isn't it? The the last um, last big organising day, and then the the fair opens tomorrow. But hey, we'll we'll be playing games. If you're not up for a top 10, I'm playing Oak tomorrow at 3 p.m. I am playing Terracotta Army on Friday at 3 p.m. And then I'm going to have a big, big rest from uh, learning a new game every single day. Uh, next week, there's going to be a new playthrough vote on Patreon and stuff. Everything that I do is made possible by uh, Patreon and Kofi. It's the only reason I'm able to be here playing through and uh, tearing my hair out at learning these games. And there'll be more. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be the stuff that got pushed along, like. Um, Carnegie is going to happen next week, and um, hopefully Hadrian's World as well. As long as filming things. Hey, if you'd like, I, I want some film playthroughs, as well as all these live ones. They're coming at some point. Hey, wouldn't we all like a bit more time? Thank you, everyone, for watching this, though, and uh, hopefully I'll see you later, or see you in another stream very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.